the company is 24 inch by 36 inch. Hey, come on. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. I brought a 24 inch by 36 inch mirror here. Uh, what's I, what I built, and this is just an idea of what it would look like in your home. Of course, you can mount this on the wall, or you can have it standing propped up against a, uh, a bookshelf or wherever your, your um, shoes are, however, however you like. But the idea is to be able to access our uh, website, which I'm showing here uh, on the live mode for you guys. And you can go in and browse around and shop and purchase clothes via the smart mirror utilizing the, uh, the smart mirror contract for trading over the uh, blockchain, Bitcoin blockchain. And uh, if, if users would like to contribute to, it's like Stylus for example, those Pi model, again, I've been having technical difficulties all day. The VNC server would not allow me to connect. I reconnected, went back, went back in. I had a couple of versions, two beta versions already developed. Um, for the actual module that I would like to use for regular uploading. Um, but I'm unable to show that because, again, the VNC server is not allowing me to connect over the cloud at this particular moment in time. Um, so, without further ado, do you guys have any other questions for the Smart Mirror Project utilizing Bitcoin smart contract trading uh, for blockchain Bitcoin? Can you give like a, like a fake demo of how that works? Even, even though it doesn't exactly work now, like, first I do this, and then this happens. Yeah, sure. So let's, let's go to YouTube. Uh, and I'm going to pull up, let's see if I can turn it for. So this is just showing the hardware part of the demo. I'm going to kind of walk you through these steps and the process behind it. Again, this is a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. And it comes standalone, but you can get an ABS protective case to protect it in order to secure your components down. But once you go through all of that hardware uh, component process behind the Raspberry Pi, then you want to come into the software module. Then the whole idea, of course, you're going to need to use Noobs, which is new out of the box software. And once you utilize that, this Noobs will allow me to code or basically manipulate the code anywhere I would, I would like to. Um, there is a, Git, I know everybody in here should be familiar with GitHub repository. So for this particular demonstration, I did utilize a third party um, GitHub repository code for the Smart Mirror project, but the idea is to build one out. Um, I want to go and, uh, and then this is Windows Internet of Things. So Windows Internet of Things have a lot of tools and suites that you can use too. For, any type of project builder, any type of Internet of Things uh, device. So once you're in your terminal, um, you run, of course, you run your packet scripts and you run all your information for that module. The connection about, that will allow this to sustain behind any monitor is by SSH device DNC. So that's how we would essentially run, but our, but our a program is going to be put over the cloud. So the cloud that uh, that I, the platform that I would use for cloud data, for containers, and for holding all of that data would be probably Google Cloud, um, temporary for now. And that will tie into the information that will feed to your monitor by the blockchain source. So it'll be three components there. You're going to have Google Cloud, you have blockchain, Ethereum, which is all to go. And so this is just basically the remote that I've had as remote from a monitor from, from our office. And it has all the information, all the module kits built in. That's just a, just a walkthrough. This is again what inside of this is a prop for a quick for a quick ten day demonstration. I ended up using a photo album frame, but the whole idea was to of course get material like wood, glass, things like that, and build standalone mirrors inexpensively for the masses uh, at some point. But just for the sake of demonstration, this is an old photo album. Frame. You can see that uh, case is an old iPad stand that the iPad can go into, and I'm utilizing the iPad 2 for the monitor. That's the magic behind the magic mirror. Um, and it's running that. So that's the, the hardware component, and that's my, my puppy uh, 
fluffy. I think someone asked me I should wear to tell me all kind of cool stuff. So that's that, that hardware side. The software side, I know you probably wanted a demonstration. I really wanted to show that demonstration. Um, but he's giving me a signal for five minutes. So do you guys have any questions so far? And if you guys have any other information further, I definitely would love to have a follow-up or show anything. And you can always uh, access our website and kind of see our updates, you know, as we go along. Is that going to be touch-driven or voice-driven or both? Yeah, so the next phase is the voice recognition kit. So you can say, like, to Siri, like, hey, play my music. Hey, what's the weather for today? Uh, what should I wear for today? That would be a voice recognition kit that would be inputted into the module. The third phase is the face recognition kit for your face so it can detect your face. Just like with Fluffy, my puppy was looking in the mirror, it could detect that that was him and it wouldn't populate all the modules that I would like for actual human. Um, so that face detection piece will